Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. In this video, I'm going to be explaining the party goers and the party poopers entities in the back rooms. And I'm also going to talk about the fun war. And since I'm talking about all that, I might as well talk about the level that it all occurred on, which is level 52. So you're getting a huge mashup video of a couple entities, a war, and a level. Hopefully you enjoy, and let's get right into the explanation. So I'll start by explaining the party goers. These entities live on level fun, which I will make an individual backrooms explain video on in a few days. So I'm not going to go too much into that level in this one, but trust me, this video is going to get through a lot. They're also located on level 188 and they're highly intelligent, very, very aggressive creatures. They're really tall and they're bipedal and they have this smooth skin that kind of looks like leather from far away. The color of the skin is normally a bright yellow, but it can also be red, green, blue, and in some rare cases, even white. Their face is plain other than a smile that's been crudely carved where a mouth should be. These entities are documented as highly intelligent, and they have been noted to operate machinery and to traverse very difficult levels of the back rooms finding prey. They use balloons as bait, so if you see a balloon floating around and nobody's holding it, just run the opposite way as fast as you can. And that same logic goes for if you think you sense a party goer nearby. Just run away as fast as you can because party goers are not that fast on their feet and they can be outrun. But whatever you do, do not let them touch you because if they do, well, it's all over. You're gone. You'll transform into one within the hour. Right after being touched by a party goer, you will still have control of your mind for a little while. So if you're in a big group, just start yelling for everyone to run away so there won't be any more casualties even though you're screwed, so I don't know why you do that, but I will get into a little bit of level fun here, but it's the name of an enigmatic level that has balloons, tables, chairs, and the other usual party things, and this is the main base for the party goers. This is where they host their parties. These parties are anything but parties, but they are where the party goers take the bodies of their victims and they make them into cakes and cupcakes. Yep, that's nasty. To get into level fun, for whatever reason you wanna go there, I don't know why, you can no clip through the ceiling on level one or use a theoretical entrance behind a window on level 188. Obviously level fun isn't the original name of this level. Uh, this is because the party goers have reportedly hacked the backrooms database and changed the name of this level so that it doesn't seem dangerous. Naming a level level fun seems pretty sus to me. So next I'll talk about the party poopers. These entities do not exist anymore because of the fun war which I'll talk about later in this video, but they originally resided on level 52. They pretty much were known for being the exact opposite of the killer party goers and were actually documented as being very humanitarian centered. There are accounts of them rescuing explorers and leading them back to their base. And they were pretty much friends with whoever they met. Their base was called the boredom room. Nice. And this is where the party poopers would take the lost people for rest and food and camaraderie. However, if you did try to attack a party pooper, they would legitimately just throw you to the party goers as punishment. So that's cool. Physically, party poopers appeared as men with black jackets and hoods on. And no one's ever seen their face because they're always covered with blue masks with sad faces drawn on them. And they're actually documented as refusing to show themselves even when asked. So the actual room that the boredom room was in was room 172. This looked like a typical classroom until the fun war and the chalkboard in the classroom now says, quote, the war is now over, smiley face. And this was presumably put there by the party goers when they claimed victory over the party poopers. If somebody took this out of context, it would make absolutely no sense and they would think I'm literally so stupid. But we're chilling. The rest of this room is a wreck and is filled with mangled laptops that the poopers used to use to get to the internet on. And on the farthest side of the room is a door to the next room over, which is room 170. This is where the human refugees would settle when the party poopers took them in. Now this room is full of old sleeping bags and rotting food. Dang man, that sucks. Rip. Next, I will talk about the Fun War. This was an event that happened on level 52 on September 6th, 2020, and it ended the very next day on September 7th. The war started when the party poopers decided they wanted to break ties with the party goers, and they revolted against them to stop their, quote, parties. Now, if you remember what I said earlier, those were not fun parties. They were the taking their victims and turning them into dessert parties. So the party poopers wanted no more part of this and they wanted to end it all once and for all. And on the other hand, the party goers decided to recruit explorers to help them beat the party poopers. These explorers were told that if they helped, 
then they'd be sent back to reality and out of the back rooms. Obviously, this was a lie, and it cost many explorers their lives on the night of the 6th. The next morning on the 7th, the party goers claimed victory over the party poopers, and they said that they had won and that there was only one human death on their side, which is obviously their line, like there was tons of humans that died, but... They only claimed there was one. The other entities on the level, which were the students, the teachers, and the principal, started showing signs of PTSD after witnessing the battle take place. Dang, bro. Rip to the party poopers. They seem like pretty good Samaritans. And for the final part of the video, I will explain the entirety of Level 52, where this war happened. Level 52 is a 100 mile long school hallway that's got the typical school stuff like lockers, cameras, and the server closets, stuff like that. After about 30 miles from the entrance of this level, you'll start hearing these teenage students and these teachers having classes in their rooms. You can actually go in the rooms because there's supplies in there like chips and soda, and occasionally, and almond water. Now about 50 miles into the hallway, the lights will shut off and you'll start to feel uneasy, like you're being watched. And no one knows why this feeling happens because there's no known negative entities or enemy entities on this level, but because of this feeling, it's recommended that you constantly turn your back and watch where you're going or that you travel in a group of four to five people. But like I said, the only known entities on level 52 are the students, teachers, and principal. Like I said, Earlier, there used to be party poopers on this level, but they're dead, so nice. The principal is a normal looking man and is not hostile or combative at all. However, if you do manage to make him mad, he'll take you into his office and give you the typical principal lecture about being a good student. And then he'll call your mother, quotes, and he'll let you leave the office. The teachers on this level have no facial features and they're not hostile. And they actually like to trade with travelers, which is pretty cool. The students are just faceless teenage students and yeah, that's pretty much it. The only way to get to this level is through a brown brick building on level 11. And you have to say M. David High School inside that building. And the only way to leave this level is through the main office front door. And that'll take you up to level 53. So yeah, that is it for the party goers, party poopers, fun war, and level 52 explanation video. Like I said, rip to the party poopers. They seem like good people. And as far as you party goers are, you guys suck. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. Thank you for all the support, guys. As of recording this, we are at 920 subscribers. So I thank you all so, so much. And I will see you guys in the next video.